So what's going on guys, it's Mike Dark 13 back again and this is a video about Dartford, first one for a little while. And it, today it has been announced that Steve King has just signed a three year contract with Dartford. Now straight off the bat, great move from the club, I think he is a manager who will take us places where, whereas I don't agree with the, the players he's been bringing in. And I don't like the player turnover. But obviously, I've, as a Dark fan, I'm used to quite a settled squad with the occasional lone player. But he's signing players who have made an impact. You know, you like sort of Elliot Romain, great player. Uh, Connor Essam coming in, another good player. Um, just the players he's brought in have been pretty, pretty damn decent. So, um, overall, I think for a three-year contract, very little risk. Obviously, if hopefully fans will be back in the football soon. Um, you know, it's not... Uh, listen, Dartford's season until it was deemed null and void wasn't... It, w it was tight up the top of the table. And I think... I mean, in my opinion, I, I think it is a great move. Now, people were going to say, oh, yeah, but you didn't like Steve King when he first signed and whatever. It, I didn't, which is true, because I didn't like the way we were playing football. It seemed we'd... It, it almost seemed as if some players were just there to argue and start fights and whatever. But if you look at it now, it's like, well, we're playing good football we've got players who actually want to show fight for the shirt which after some performances in the league especially in the run up to the first lockdown or sort of during the first lockdown and whatever and with the playoff defeat to uh, Weymouth we had players who didn't seem to want to fight for it anymore now we seem to have it or did have a squad who are real like real hard chargers like real fighters really want to go up for it so i think overall yeah it's great like um as i said free a deal very risk free the only issue with that could be if it comes to sacking him obviously i don't obviously I, as fans we don't know the ins and outs of the contract um but yeah it's, it's, it's a sign in it wards off interest from other clubs and we can sort of now start preparing for an assault on the league title or the playoffs, depending now. The only issue that we have at the moment is we've there are clubs who are announcing new players ready for next season, and we've not really been told what's happening with the squad at all. So, fingers crossed, there'll be some news at some point. Um, obviously, it's still early, we're only in May, so normally around June time we start finding out like retained lists and all that. But, um, yeah, so obviously, happy about that. Another thing I'm happy about, and I'll sort of throw this in this one because I can't be asked to make it into a separate video. Um, European Super League has spectacularly backfired. Uh, it is dead in the water, as far as it looks now. Um, all six of the big Premier League clubs, so Chelsea, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham and Arsenal have all dropped out um, as have I believe the Italian clubs are involved um, yeah and I think overall it's the right thing I still think clubs should be punished personally I feel there should be points deductions um, potential European bans but it's not looking like it's going to happen so whatever but um Yeah, so good day for Dolphin fans. Um, all the best to Steve King. Obviously, it will be interesting to see who we sign. Um, you know, it's just, just looking at the likes of Chelmsford have been signing players and releasing players and whatever. But yeah, I think overall, it next few years could be very, very interesting for a Dartford from a Dartford perspective. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to have fans back in the stadium soon. Obviously, the 21st of June is when 
officially most of the lockdown all, all the lockdown restrictions will be dropped. So we can only hope now. They're starting to open stadiums up to fans. Like there's, I think the FA. I can't remember what it was. Was it the FA Cup semi final? I want to say or the Carabao Cup. One of the cup games at the moment has had fans uh, allowed in. It was only, it was a very small number of fans, but it's still progress. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to have a proper pre-season, put all this behind us, and honestly just enjoy the football again. Because <laughs> watching live streams just ain't it. Like it's just not football. But yeah, so positive day for football or for Dolphin fans. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Uh, as I said, F1 videos will be the main ones at the moment, obviously, because there's not much coming out about Dartford. Um, anything interesting that comes up, obviously I'll jump on, get a video made up, and yeah. But thanks for watching, thanks for all the support as always, and hopefully the only way is up for Dartford fans now. So, long live Steve King. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.